today I'm going to show you how to get the lemon loader on your Quest 2 and then how to download mods onto it. With the lemon loader you'll be able to install code mods on BoneLab. That's something that's not possible with the traditional SDK. Code mods can change the behavior of NPCs, the damage from weapons, the player stats, the ammo, the health, basically anything you want. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The first step is to turn on developer mode. To do this, open up your MetaQuest smartphone app, click menu in the bottom right hand corner, then devices. Make sure your Quest 2 is turned on and connected, then click headset settings, developer mode, and toggle the switch on. Once developer mode is turned on, you'll need SideQuest. If you already have SideQuest, then you could skip this step, but if not, hop on your computer and go to sidequestvr.com slash download, and then download the advanced installer. If you want a more detailed video about turning on developer mode or downloading SideQuest, I made one a while back that I'll link in this video and in the video's description, but as long as you follow the prompts provided, you should be good. Once you have SideQuest installed on your computer, you'll have to plug your Quest into it. I personally connect my Quest to my computer using my Quest 2 charging cable, but if your computer doesn't have a USB-C, you'll need a USB-C to USB cable, and those types of cables, a lot of electronics come with them nowadays, so you probably have one lying around, but if not, you could get one on Amazon for like 5 to 10 bucks. Once your Quest 2 is plugged into your computer, put it on and allow the connection. Then take off your headset while leaving it plugged in to your computer and go to lemon.trev.app. Scroll down to where it says Assets. Click the blue text that says melonloaderinstaller.apk and it will download onto your computer. Now go back to SideQuest and drag that downloaded file to the icon in the top right hand corner of SideQuest that looks like a box with an arrow pointing down in it. You'll know the install is complete when a green success tab shows up for a few seconds at the bottom right of the screen. Once you see that you can unplug your headset, go to your apps, click the search bar at the top of the window and then click where it says all and select unknown sources from the drop down menu. You should see Lemon Installer. Click to open it. It might take a few seconds to load, but once it does, click Allow, Set Up, and use this folder until you get to this screen. When you do, toggle the switch on, click the back button, and then Set Up, and then turn it on one more time and go back. Click Bone Lab, a warning will pop up, click Understood, and then click the purple Patch button. It will take a minute for the patch to load, but when it does, press OK. Then the lemon loader will restore the data, which will take another few minutes, but once it finishes, click install. You'll get asked to restore the app. Just click close and then OK, and then you could quit out of the lemon loader and open Bone Lab. You'll probably see the message again about restoring the app. Make sure to press open app. If Bone Lab crashes after that, just open it again and it should launch like normal. You're going to be on this black loading screen for a while. It could literally take like 20 or 30 minutes and you cannot let your Quest 2 fall asleep in the meantime. If you do, you'll have to relaunch the app and start the whole process over again. The Quest 2 has a motion sensor in between the lenses and it will automatically fall asleep if it doesn't sense something right there. So what I did is just put something there and that way you could take the headset off, let it sit, and check out today's sponsor, VRList.xyz. VRList.xyz is like LinkedIn meets the yellow pages but tailored for VR businesses and enthusiasts. They offer an amazing discussion board with community resources, a VR event calendar, and tips on how to meet and socialize with fellow VR enthusiasts. It doesn't matter if you're a business owner or a freelancer, you can list your services and connect with others in the VR industry seamlessly. Let's say you're hosting a virtual party and you need a DJ. With VRList.xyz, it's as easy as typing DJ into the search bar and then getting a list of potential candidates. From there, you could send them a message, read reviews, and much more. It doesn't matter if you're looking to connect with content creators, developers, artists, designers, scripters, hosts, world builders, or anyone else in the VR industry. VRList.xyz has over 300 people and businesses listed, ensuring you'll find the right fit. 
Plus, they have an engaging blog featuring members of the VR community, a fantastic newsletter, and a host of other valuable resources on both their website and social media. I can't cover it all in this ad, but what I can tell you is that it's absolutely free to sign up. So why wait? Create an account on VRList.xyz today. Alright, back to the tutorial. Hopefully by now, Bone Lab has loaded for you. It will only take that long the first time, so you're not going to have to deal with that in the future. Once you made sure that it actually loaded, quit out of Bone Lab, take your headset off, reconnect it to your computer, and I'll show you how to download the mods. Go to lemon.trev.app and click on the wiki button at the top. In the pages sidebar, click where it says Bone Lab, and then click the Google Docs link. That will have a list of all the best mods which are compatible. For this example, we're going to download the Portals mod. Click the mod that you want to download. That will take you to the mod's download page either on mod.io or the Thunder Store. If you're on mod.io, click the download icon next to the version that says Android. If you're on the Thunder Store, click Manual Download. Once the mod is downloaded onto your computer, drag it to your desktop. Then right click it and select Extract All and then Extract. Within that, you should see a folder in two files that end in the extension .dll. Sometimes you might open the folder and then there's a folder within that that have the folder and the two DLL files. If that happens, just remove them from the first folder. Now open up SideQuest, making sure that the dot in the top left hand corner is still green. Click the folder icon in the top right, then click Android, then Data, then scroll down and open com.stresslevel0.bonelab, then files and then mods. Then drag those files into that folder. Some mods require other mods to run properly. For example, the hit marker mod requires two other mods to function. So if you see this on the mod page that you want, just be sure to download those first by going to their own mod page and clicking the manual download. Follow the process I just told you and then do the same thing with the main mod. Once you see the mods loaded in there, unplug your headset and launch Bone Lab. Now you could go into one of the maps and see if the mods loaded into your dev tools. As you could see the portal mod did work. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time this is Andy's VR Reviews.